Hi Gemini and welcome back to Fifi's Tower Readings. I am Fifi. For those that are new to my channel, a very warm welcome. And cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. And now, as I say every week, this is a safe place for everyone. Okay? There is no judgment, only love and respect. So Gemini, as the title says for this particular weekly love reading, it is about you and your person, uh, particularly for those that are not in communication with each other, okay? Um, so if there's been a disconnection here, um, you're definitely not talking to each other. Um, doesn't matter if it's been weeks or months, okay, or even a year, you know. Um, we are going to dig a lot deeper now. Um, well, I'm going to do that now with the cards. We're going to find out, you know, if your person had the opportunity, what would they say to you? Um, what are their thoughts, feelings, um, possible actions, um, outcome as well? Okay, so I'm going to be exploring all of that and also... In here, uh, towards the end of the reading, I'll also be um, looking at some traits uh, or characteristics of your person that may, you may resonate with. And I'll also be pulling out um, some first name and last name initials that could be yours or your person as well. Okay, so let's get into it. And for those that are still inquiring, yes, I, it's, uh, I'm still uh, doing uh, personal readings. So that entire menu, <laughs> you could say, uh, of my readings is all down below. Um, everything on how to book. And my email address, if you wish to contact me, uh, that is all down below. And also, Gemini, there will be an extended to this reading as well, 100% optional as well. So that link is down below. So, Gemini, enough about me. Let's talk about you. All right, Gemini and their person, please. Spirit, source and guide. Gemini, please. No communication with their person. Ooh, what's that? Ooh, seven of Cups already. Okay. Maybe options on how to proceed forward. So let's talk about your person. What's going on on their side? What is it they wish to say? What are they experiencing right now? Even things outside of the connection. Okay. First card, Queen of Pentacles. Okay. Could be dealing with an Earth sign here. Okay. Person's really focusing on their career, their finances, the stability. They could be really focusing on themselves right now. Okay. Uh, they could also be seeing you. Uh, Gemini as this very nurturing type, this very abundant type that looks after themselves, they take care of themselves, um, they even smell good, dress nice, so yeah, it's so far, I'm, I'm already from about the first card, Queen of Pentacles, um, yeah, I'm definitely seeing here that um, they think highly of you, there is a lot of respect here, they hold you in high regard though, uh, they also could be getting some advice as well from someone um, in terms of finances and career on how to better themselves as well though, what else do we have, Six of Swords, okay, so I do feel here, since I'm reading this from your person's point of view, that they may desire to move into calmer waters with you. Uh, they could also be at a distance, uh, Gemini, okay? Someone here could have uh, recently relocated or travel or want to travel overseas, but they do want to move into calmer waters with you. You know, this is kind of like the rite of passage. I thought, you know, they it's kind of like the worst is behind you as well, though. Uh, but they do have a desire to come to you, though. Interesting. After maybe a period, you know, because before the six of swords, we have the five of swords and fives can be quite challenging as well. And we're just saying that I've got the five of pentacles here. Your person may be feeling left out in the cold. OK, they could be feeling abandoned. Uh, they could be feeling tossed aside here. Uh, it is a kind of a regret as well. OK, maybe of things that they didn't say or stuff that they did say. Also, things that were not done or things that were done that shouldn't have been done. But yeah, I feel like your, your person here definitely wants to take care of you okay they want to show it to you um if this is also the card of luxury as well though they may have some expensive taste as well but yeah they definitely want to move forward with you karma water zone they want to be kind of they want to come in they don't want to be out in the cold anymore so gemini yep yeah, you've got the six of cups here so you know for some of you this could also be a friend okay this could also be a friend or maybe started out as friends as well. There could have been a falling out as well. There could have been children as well. Could have known this person for quite a while as well, though. This is a soulmate connection. You have known each other in past lives. And I always say, how do you know that? It's like that instant comfort with this person. You feel safe. It's like you can really be yourself around this person without someone judging you saying, oh, for example, are oh, you like video games? It's very childish. Maybe this person loves it as well. They just respect it. Um, but this is a reunion as well. Someone from your past, this person's coming back. They want to move into karma waters with you. So the heart of the reading here, this is the card that really influences everything else. Yeah, we have the four of cups. Your person's really not happy. Okay. They're just really feeling the void now that you're not there. I feel like this separation has been happening for a while though, um, for months possibly a year or more, uh, but this is a card of sadness, it's a card of depression, uh, your, pers your person's really kind of, you know, there's a lot of self-pity here, you know, woe is me, you know, it's like, 
it's just a regret here. They're filling that void, okay? Um, they know that this was a missed opportunity, okay? But I do see them coming back, though. Especially with that Six of Swords and the Six of Cups. You know, Six is all about healing and harmony and balance, balancing the scales now. You know, kind of just putting away all those challenges and now having something fresh, just something... I'm hearing that both of you really need a lot of peace and harmony now, but they're quite despondent without you. Now, they could also be over drinking as well, um, or there's a vice here. There's something that they're doing that's very unhealthy, and it's a means to cope. This is the only way they can cope, though. Now, in this particular deck, this person's looking back, okay? So they're really looking back at the past, um, and they could be feeling quite nostalgic here with that Six of Cups as well, of those better times that you've had. You know, I'm hearing when he's had those interesting and fun conversations and the laughter as well because that's not there anymore and I really feel like they're having I don't know I just feel like there's just something going on with their life also that just doubles it like I feel like this they're experience, experiencing quite a lot of challenges though yeah see I said before the six of swords we have a five of swords your person may have actually really just come to terms that they were very selfish that it was all about them you know <clears throat> in the past so I don't feel like they did it on purpose. It was just they were really fulfilling their needs first. There could have been actually a lack of equal give and take as well, especially towards the very end, though. Um, yeah, but this is kind of, you know, catching someone out here. It's about a loss. It is about deceit here. Someone may have called them out there with the crow, just really cawing in the person's head there. They've got a headache. Some of my Geminis, you may be experiencing some weird headaches or recently have experienced some weird headaches as well. Um, and it's been said sometimes if you've got weird shooting pains in your body, um, that it could be also the person really thinking about you. Um, but of course, go please see a doctor if it's, um, if it's of a concern as well, though. Um, but yeah, there, there is loss here. There is a lot of regret here. I feel like your person wasn't entirely honest. I'm hearing someone here wasn't exactly prepared to be in this relationship, but they kind of talk themselves into it. But yeah, no, they shouldn't have done that. We've got the six again, six of pentacles. Yeah, like I said, that lack of, lack of equal give and take, but now your person really wants to. They want to balance the scales now. They want to prove it to you that they're worth another chance. Uh, in saying that, though, someone here may have also, and I feel like it's more of your person side, may have also tried to separate themselves from a past relationship that no longer served them, though, with that Six of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Children could also be involved here. Now, that could be small children, teenage children, or just young adult children, for example. Um, yeah, so that has, I feel like for some of you, if you know that, that's coming, that has already, I feel like, come to an end, but has really done a number on them as well, though. Knight of Cups. Okay, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, got some water here, could also be dealing with another air sign, earth sign as well, I'm yet to see any fire sign, but um, the energy of the card's more important though. Um, now with this Knight of Cups here, there is definitely a love offer coming your way, okay, and I always point out with this card, we've got that envelope right there, okay, so you could actually expect a message um, just out of the blue from this person, okay? This is a love offer. There is change. Nights are all about change, okay? Um, so some of these could be receiving a token of love, um, a sweet message as well. I do feel like your person's really woken up and it's almost like, I feel like they're really beating themselves up over it. They may have tried really hard to move on from you, but um, mentally it's something that they're not seeing here because there is no communication is that they sorely miss you though. And they do want that reconciliation. Yeah, look at that. The final card is very important for me. Uh, we have the star here. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, okay? If not, though, this message will be the same for everyone watching this reading, is that, uh, well, this is destiny, okay? You are the wish fulfillment. Um, if you were to even respond to them and say, okay, let's try or let's open the lines of communication and take it slow, it would be a dream come true for them. Now, this also means that you have known each other in past lives. That's just validating it because you've got the Six of Cups as well. And you will know each other in future lives. Uh, it's a card of destiny. So, you know, your life and your person's life, um, Jim and I, it, you know, it's whoever's looking after you, they're orchestrating things. Okay, this is the card of destiny. So, yeah, these were meant to meet each other again. You've got the Knight of Swords, okay? Yeah, someone's rushing in here. Your person's rushing in, okay? And they have something to say to you, okay? Someone could also be driving a motorbike as well. Um, now, Jim and I, this is your energy, so maybe sometimes you felt inclined to rush back and talk to this person, but I feel like you've been holding yourself back here, um, okay? Now, maybe you did talk to this person and you, you didn't get a response as well, so you just felt really rejected here as well. That could also be coming out there with the uh, Five of Pentacles, but yeah, I feel like your person's going to take action now. Yeah, I'm kind of hearing that someone's regretting that they actually didn't respond to you as well. All right. Let's, now, this is a very uh, basic message. What I'm going to do now is, yeah, I'm going to uh, get more cards now. We're going to get more information here.
I just split the deck, so we have three of pentacles. So they do want to be part of your team. They want to collaborate. They want to work with you. Um, some of you uh, could have met through your studies, uh, through your career at work. Um, couldn't have been introduced by some some friends and you may be in your professional inner circle i'm also hearing online as well um, but they want to be part of your team absolutely all right let's clarify let's get a lot more information for you all right first card what do we have look at that three of cups yeah they want that reunion with you absolutely okay um also the threes are showing me here with that six of pentacles here and the five of pentacles that uh, maybe your person, and this is not for all of you, maybe your person also was, um, well, there was a third intrusion here. Maybe they were dealing with the past ex, okay? Um, maybe there was a child here that was against it. There's a lot of factors. It was going to be different for everyone, but this is the reunion. It's a card of celebration, okay? They want to take you out. If you are at a distance from each other, they want to do like that FaceTime. They want to see you face to face. Yeah, you could be dealing also with an Aries here with the full card, okay? Again, showing me that, you know, you've got two cards here showing that this could be at a distance as well. The Six of Swords, you know, clarified by the Fool, you know, maybe your person needs to go on a journey to actually see you, okay? There could be a large body of water between you. It could be a couple of hours drive, the next date, for example. But they're going to close their eyes and they're going to take the chance, okay? That's what they're going to do. They know what they want. They want to go in karma waters with you and they're just going to take the chance and they're going to communicate with you. They just don't know how you're going to receive them. How are you going to reply? Have you blocked them? So that's kind of something like they want to avoid, almost like a towel moment because they don't know what's going to happen though. Yeah, so you could be dealing also with a Leo here uh, with the strength card. Okay, so especially clarifying the five of pentacles, if you see how the person's hunched over, completely distraught here. So, you know, we're clarifying it with the strength card. They're trying to use all their courage, all their inner strength to approach you, though. I do feel here uh, that your person may be a little bit weary, a little bit scared, <laughs> um, quite anxious to actually approach you, though. So they're trying to be courageous here and just say, I'm just going to do it. Um, I don't know how Gemini is going to respond, but I just need to really profess my love here. I feel like maybe your person walked away. Yeah, so... Again, showing there could be a distance between you, okay? Um, if not, there is that emotional distance, you know, especially the non-communication as well, though. This is fast-moving energy, one of the fastest-moving energies in the entire deck, the Eight of Wands, okay? Yeah, there's going to be messages. Your person's coming back. Absolutely, they are. We know that. But they're coming in with a message here, okay? You did already get um, two knights, the Knight of Swords, uh, the Knight of Cups. There's a lot here that they want to express. This is known as Cupid's Arrows, love messages, back and forth communication as well. Very fast moving energy. Um, in fact, you know, they may be coming on a bit too strong. Uh, and you may find it a bit overwhelming, but it's nothing you can't handle. But um, yeah, it, even though you do want to take things slow, and I think that's the best thing, but it's just a lot of fast moving energy here. So clarifying the Four of Cups now, Who's coming towards you? You could be dealing with a cancer here, here with the chariot, okay? They want victory with you. Again, showing that there's a bit of a journey here. Um, your person actually may want to see you face to face though, okay? Yeah, so it's almost like they want to get out of this energy and they want to be this person for you, okay? Male or female, it does not matter. Same sex relationship, doesn't matter. What's important here is the love and the energy that comes out from the cards, okay? They want that victory with you. They have, definitely have something to say to you. So clarifying the five of swords with this loss, what do they want? They're going to communicate that they want a brand new passionate start with you, okay? With the ace of wands. I do feel that there was a lot of chemistry here, sexual chemistry, fun times. If there's one star sign I know that knows how to have fun, but in a really no, not good way, not, you know, in a dangerous way is Gemini, okay? You know how to have fun here. Um, yeah, but they want that passionate new start with you. I feel like they refuse to let you go. They actually never let you go. Clarifying the Six of Pentacles. There, we've got another Ace here. The Ace of Pentacles. They're going to make a solid offer. Absolutely. If there's one thing that they are sure about since, you know, this time of absence when you have not been talking, they are very sure about you. Absolutely. We've got two Aces. Aces is all about starting over again on a clean slate, okay? Resparking that romance, resparking that love again. Um, and not repeating the same mistakes from the past. I do feel like your person has really learned their lesson, though. Life for them has been very tough here, especially the people around them, okay? Clarifying the Knight of Cups. Look at that. We've got the Four of Cups again. Yeah, your person's very, very sad without you. And I feel like for some of them, maybe it may become quite emotional when they do communicate with you or when they send you a text or an email. I see them becoming quite emotional here. You may not know that. Uh, but I do see that because this is, again, you know, there is, there is sadness here. You know, there is a broken heart. There is depression here. They know they missed out on opportunity. And I do feel here that they're going to be quite emotionally vulnerable um, when they communicate with you, though. 
yeah, clarifying the star, we have the two of pentacles here, okay? So on this side, finances may be stretched a little thin. They may be juggling between, you know, having money and, ooh, you know, paying their bills and all that. Um, so maybe there is money going to, towards an ex here. That's just, that's not for all of you though. There could be money going somewhere or maybe paying too many bills. But this is kind of them juggling up, ooh, you know, weighing the pros and cons. You know, do I, do I approach them? Do I let this go though? I really miss them, but then I don't know how they're going to receive me. So that's that decision here of not, you know, do I love Gemini? They absolutely do, but it's almost like, you know, how do I do it? Bottom of the deck, we've got the Winded Warrior there with the Nine of Wands, okay? They know at the moment the state that they left you in when you use parted ways, okay? I uh, do feel here that some of, for some of you, Gemini, it, it's like, they left you just like kind of out of the cold with that five of pentacles as well, though. Um, yeah, I feel like they really hurt you. I don't feel like they do it, They did it on purpose, though. They may have not been ready for a relationship or they were dealing with too many other stuff here. But um, yeah, I feel like they've really moved on from it. They've really changed their life here, though. But they know that you're very guarded at the moment. I mean, I don't blame you. So let's get some oracle cards here. Um, so this is going to show, Jim and I, uh, what is happening to your person uh, within this connection, but also outside. Uh, what's happening also around their life? Because this could also be affecting um, their decision making. This could also be affecting, you know, their life as well. So, yeah, it is a form of spying. <laughs> but um, I think, yeah, if we always talk about someone else, I suppose it is. But let's see what we get. I just want to get two more. I'm going to make sure I get a good shuffle there for you. All right. For Gemini, please, guardian angels and spirit guides, uh, what's going on around Gemini's person, please? Yeah, I kind of feel, I'm hearing that your person, when you were together, they had a lot going on, though. And it's almost like maybe they're prone to suffering from anxiety, um, depression as well. Um, I'm hearing that someone here could be taking some medication as well. So they're seeking professional help, which is fantastic. Um, so I just feel like there was a lot going on here, especially when you were together. But I feel like it's a bit more quieter now. So what do we have? Yeah, encouragement. You can do it. Go for it. Okay, so this is a message for both of you um, that you can actually make this. You can resurrect this if you like. Um, your person also may be receiving encouragement from friends, okay, um, or family members. Very few select people here that they trust. It's the encouragement with our three of cups is to go for it. Go get Gemini before it's too late look at that so you got the travel cards the six of swords the full and it's clarified by travel moving on and taking flight here so for some of you if you are at a long distance okay because uh, it's going to be different for everyone this is double confirming that this message is for you um in this pile that they are at a distance there with the chariot but they are definitely coming towards you though when the time is right obviously when um you know this pandemic has subsided quite substantially Oh, they definitely want face-to-face -face time with you, though. Uh, we also got get busy, get moving, motivate, exercise. Uh, that's clarifying the strength card. So your person may be taking care of their appearance, um, their health, you know, probably losing weight. They want to look good for you. But this is also saying, you know, hurry up because the timing of this card is actually very quick, though. Um, more focus on the person running here. So they actually definitely could be literally just hurrying up, getting to you, get this message across to you. Yeah, so... You got your, your communication card here, okay, with the Eight of Wands, clarified by communication, important news and messages as well. Yeah, that's definitely coming in though. Clarifying the chariot, we've got stand your ground and be strong, okay? So this is for both of you. They want to be strong, okay? Um, they want to speak their truth, but this is also for you, Gemini, to stand your ground, be strong and speak your truth as well, okay? I do feel that there's a conversation that has to happen. It may be uncomfortable, you know, I'd be a little bit uneasy, but it must occur if you just want this brand new start. So clarifying the Ace of Wands, we've got success, recognition, rewards, moving on. They want success with you. Absolutely, though. Um, and also, you know, I feel like for some of you, there's also kind of leveling up with your career as well, though. Um, so we've got some public recognition there as well. Clarifying the Ace of Pentacles. We Look at that. We've got wishes coming true. This is beautiful. It, like I said with the star... This will be a dream come true for them. And I feel like for a lot of these Gemini, that this would be a dream come true as well for you. I feel like there's a lot of this. This this is something that still is not over. Um, most definitely, I kind of feel there's something that has to be said still. So clarifying the four of cups we have here. What are they, you know, so depressed about? The endings, completion, finish. So, yeah, they're sad that this ended, though. 
absolutely sad. There's one thing they're sure about, Gemini, and it's you. Clarifying the two of pentacles. Yeah, see? Um, quarrels, strife, and conflict here. Okay? That's what he's... I'm saying he or she. Um, your person is weighing up about there with the two of pentacles. It's like, oh, I don't know how they're going to receive me. I think they're afraid here that there could be um, an argument. So are they going to come back? Yes, they are. Be positive, okay? I think it's just a matter of time before they come back. Yeah, someone here is focusing on their money, their wealth, and prosperity. Um, acknowledging that this period now of silence, there have been obstacles, disruption, challenges, and delays um, as well, though. Message for you, though, Gemini. It's saying here, you are blessed and guided. Okay, have confidence and honor yourself. Okay, you're being protected in this. All right, Gemini, I'm going to take this over to the extended because I really want to dig deep or different cards. Uh, actually, what I'm going to do, sorry, <laughs> I was going to do this before I go to the extended. Let's see of some star signs that you may be dealing with. See, I, I talk too fast and I, I will get that one and I forget. Okay, I was going to do this for you. This is just something bonus. It's also fun. Um, now, if you don't have any, if you don't see any... Um, initials uh, of your person or of you it doesn't mean that this reading is not for you um, this cannot resonate obviously for everyone though so what else do we have oh right you want to get out fine so some initials what do we have what do we have uh, G, okay, so this could be first name last name initial of you um, or your person we have W what else do we have uh, we have Q, okay, X, what else, what else, what else, oh, <laughs> Z, okay, we also have, look at that, X, Y, Z, that's weird, I'm just going to put it this way, <laughs> X, Y, Z, and we also have O, followed by P, okay, first, last name, initial, could be yours, could be your person, some characteristics also from your person, what do we have, I just really want to make sure I shove my hand's too small, but I want to just give it a good, there we are, without looking, drop that, all right, okay, what do we have, so you or your person, someone here has freckles, okay, someone could also have red hair, okay, could be dyed as well, someone could be wearing glasses, if they're blind as a bat like me, because <laughs> I wear glasses, uh, okay, you or your person, someone here is significantly taller. They could be taller than you. Someone could also be having green eyes, okay? Okay, someone could also be having tattoos. And, well, someone could be shorter. Maybe it's like, you know, tall and short. Maybe it's saying that, you know, either, for example, Gemini, you're a lot shorter. Your person's a lot taller than you as well, though. Mm. All right, Gemini. Yes, so I'm going to take this over to the extended. I'm going to clear the deck. I'm going to use different cards. Um, different oracle cards as well and i really want to dive into the energy of your person possible outcome advice for you um as well as this action i see that they're going to take action here that i'm certain about we've got that communication card here and we've definitely had a yes that it's happening so i want to find out more about this okay so i'll see you over at the extended but if this is where we depart gemini i wish you the very 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 best take care of yourself bye